you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training. And I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Oh, nice jab. Straight right is there. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. And they separate. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, nice jab. Hook to the head there by Lee. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> all right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, body shot. Oh, nice, nice. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Out of range with that one. Just over three minutes to go. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Clean punch. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Feet into the punch. Feet first. Oh, landed that kick to the leg. Get your right hand up. Protect your face. Now circle to the left. It's those leg kicks that's eating him alive. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Let's get busy with those Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, Superman punches true. Great job setting up that high kick. Block that one. Two minutes remain in the round. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Let's go. Get on first, Leg kick. Beautiful punch lands there. Oh, nice. Nice jab. Straight punch. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. 
Under a minute to go in round one. Now he's going full mount. He's got to start throwing now. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Right to the knee on belly. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Mm, nice. 10 seconds to go in the round. So it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round, DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. He better get his elbow down or his opponent's going to continue fight. to take advantage right. of that weakness. Yeah. Check him out under what? All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the finish. Beautiful high kick. Well, the more things... Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Hands higher. Hands higher. Checks that leg kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice kick there by Lee. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. And that one certainly found the target. Fighters committed to the head kick. That one landed. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. And there's that jab. And so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Collar tie here in the clinch. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, nice block. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, roundhouse kick. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking clip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice shot there by the champ. Touched him with the strike there. Under a minute now to go round two. Takedown defense holds up. Battling for hooks. Beautiful jab lands. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this gameplay. So the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. I need you to pay attention. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. Gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. All right, take a seat, bud. Beautiful. Get some water and breathe. That was an awesome round, man. You were outworking this guy everywhere, okay? Your cardio was great. I told you. All right, a lot of high level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic run. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, nice. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Nice punch by him there in the clinch. The book on him is that when he gets in these clinch situations, he's not looking to take a breather. He is not resting. He is going to work. The night is just beginning when he gets to the clinch. Nice head kick. Another head kick lands. He is not seeing those kicks coming over the top. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. He's got good leg kicks, there it is. Oh, how good is that jab by Lee? All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. Oh, 
Well, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Oh, nice hook. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Back and forth we go. Big body to land. That knee, that knee hurt him. There's the kick, it's blocked. Straight right hand, no good. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Establishing the jab here. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Now with the knee. Oh, the high kick gets home. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Clean with the right hook. 20 seconds left. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Lee. Final seconds. Huh. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, man, listen to me. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to go out there and I want you to take him down and put him on his back. Control the fight on the ground. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Clipped him with the jab. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Going to the knee strike now. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Big head kick. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. 
All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check. Oh! Ooh! Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Effective jab there by Lee. Ooh, looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. That kick lands. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Good, straight, Under two minutes to go. Oh, high kick. Getting the hands going here early. Just misses there with the left. Beautiful body kick. Another huge kick is true. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Keeping him honest with the jab. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. And blocks that hard punch. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Under a minute now to go in the round. Nice double leg team. Lee getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. He's in the mouth. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, nice kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Final seconds here. for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, back to the stools for 60 seconds. That gives us a chance to re-rack some replays, including what we believe is the strike that caused the cut on his nose. Yeah, beautiful strike that lands, causes this cut, opens him up on the bridge of the nose. It's not a bad cut. But if he continues to go forward, his opponent is a sniper. And he's going to keep hitting him in that same spot. Move your head. Really choose the times Ready in which fight. you're going to advance Ready. to try to get to this guy. you got to be careful, though, because he is so good at picking his shot. And, of course, it's hard to know the extent to which that has compromised his breathing. But that corner was fired up. They want him to be more de defensively sound as this fight continues. Nice body kick there. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Single collar tie now. 
Oh, big left hand there. Fighter lands a left. Big body kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. What a beautiful high kick that landed there. Huge oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Nice punch from the clinch by Lee. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Throwing that jab, no good. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, he continues to find his timing here. Series of strikes, they all land. Oh, beautiful work with the knee. Just misses with the left hook. Nice, good pressure. Glance to the body there. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah, no more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're gonna lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Oh, nice. Just misses with the jab there. Two minutes now to go in this one. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Throws that deep and it lands. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Oh, nice. Good shot, good shot. Another clinch position. Watch the tricky tricks that he uses when he's in close. Oh, good knee. Strong knee attempt, but it's blocked. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. And yet another straight punch landed there by Lee. Visibly limping here. One minute to go. Kick that at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. He's got the single collar tied up. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Just missed with the leg kick. Keep going, keep going. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Nice kick. Leg kicks all day. His mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious loop right now. Well, it's going to take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh. When he oh, and there's the final horn. We go to the scorecards. One of the greatest fights that we have seen all year. All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected, 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion, but that's why he's the champion, because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. Official decision now in, the buff has it.
Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50 45, 49 47, and 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That